Bowden County, Virginia, is anything but a poverty pocket. It is headquarters for the so-called horsey set. The county contains hunt clubs, private schools, and aristocratic race meets that mingle the pedigrees of the horses with those of their owners. The trappings of wealth are everywhere. Loudoun County is only 25 miles outside Washington, D.C. It is the home of distinguished legislators like Senator Everett Dirksen, celebrities like Arthur Godfrey. Society here is studded with American nobility, names like DuPont, Mellon, and Whitney. Hunger is the last thing an outsider would expect to find. Indeed, it might be the last thing he would find. Yet hidden away in Loudoun County are thousands of shacks where tenant farmers lead a marginal existence. Loudoun County, like one-third of the counties in America, has no federal food program. Dr. Stephen Granger, the Loudoun County medical officer, knows and treats many of the tenant families. Dr. Granger told us the households have too many members and too little food. In Loudoun County, the families of the tenant farmers tend to be large. And the children get neither the right food nor enough food. Their diet is heavy on starch, mainly potatoes, and very light on protein. The physical effects of this poor diet are striking. Dr. Granger's staff of public health nurses has to spend a good deal of time figuring out ways for these families to eat a little bit better, how to get the right kind of food, and how to make the best use of it. See, they are all up, aren't they? Yeah. Has she had her lunch? Uh-uh, not yet. Well, mm -hmm. what does she eat for lunch? She eats from the table. What are you going to have for her lunch today? Uh, I don't know. You don't know what's being prepared yet? What did he eat for his breakfast this morning? She ate gravy. She ate gravy for uh -huh. breakfast. Anything else besides gravy? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. There is an additional problem in Loudoun County, the pride of the people. Even if surplus food were available, and it's not, most of them would probably reject it. David Colhane talked to a tenant farm worker and his wife. You've got to admit to the fact that you're poor. And you can't be uh, looked down on yourself because you're poor. You've got to be proud of it. And we're poor and we're proud of it. Some people are rich and they're proud of it. It's just a way of, way of life. Do you think you need help? No, I don't need no help. God only helps those that help themselves. Now, a man, as long as a man has got two hands, Two feet and a brain, nothing is no limit. Granted that you try, but really now, doesn't it sometimes happen that you can't afford something that you know they should have? Well, usually when it comes right down to that, we usually get the, what we need for the kids first. Then if we have to go without juice or we have to go without some little extra, we have to buy less potatoes for ourselves or less of something for ourselves, we'll do that in order to get for the kids. What would you say about people who say they want help? I would consider them kind of people, uh, well, to put it in plain words, leechers. Because if they can't help themselves, they've got no business being married, got no business having children. I want to take care of my family myself. I didn't marry, they didn't marry me. I married my wife. And I have two children. And it's up to me to take care of them, not receive handouts. That's a bum. If I want to be a bum, I'll go in Washington. There's plenty of them. Dr. Granger also sees the slow but certain human erosion caused by the kind of life the tenant families lead, the kind of food they eat. One of our patients, a woman with dignity and perseverance, is only 39 years old. She looks to be much older than that. This is not rare among our families. It can be caused by a number of medical problems, but malnutrition certainly plays a big part. 